Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to go over the differences between the Arrhenius and Bronsted-Lowry definitions of acids and bases. Let's get started with the Arrhenius definition of acids and bases. An Arrhenius acid increases the concentration of hydrogen ions in an aqueous solution. However, because hydrogen ions don't actually exist by themselves in water, they tend to form bonds with other water molecules within that solution to form the hydronium ion, which has the formula H3O+. On the other hand, an Arrhenius base tends to increase the concentration of hydroxide ions in an aqueous solution. Let me show you examples of each. HCl, commonly known as hydrochloric acid, is a type of Arrhenius acid. When it's added to water, it tends to dissociate into a hydrogen ion and a chlorine ion. So that would look like this. However, because the hydrogen ion doesn't actually exist by itself in water, it tends to become the hydronium ion by combining with water molecules. And so that actually leads to this product side in which there's chlorine ions and hydronium ions. Nonetheless, the main idea is still the same. It increases the concentration of hydrogen or hydronium ions in an aqueous solution. Let's take a look at sodium hydroxide, which is an Arrhenius base. When this molecule is added to water, it tends to dissociate into sodium ions and hydroxide ions. The hydroxide ions increase the concentration in the solution, which is what classifies it as an Arrhenius base. Now, a major downside of the Arrhenius definition of acids and bases is that it only applies to solutions that contain H2O, or water. Because not all acid-base reactions contain water, it really can't be expanded to circumstances beyond aqueous solutions. That's where the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases comes in. A Bronsted-Lowry acid is a substance that donates a proton to another substance, while the base is a substance that accepts a proton from another substance. So in that respect, you can see how these two are very similar in that they kind of feed off of one another. The acid gives off protons and bases except protons. Let me show you with examples of both. Let's say you have a reaction between ammonia and hydrochloric acid. The acid right here donates a proton to the ammonia and that proton takes on the form of a hydrogen ion like this. So in this case it would be this one right here highlighted in orange. When the ammonia accepts that hydrogen ion, it becomes positively charged, and what's left of the hydrochloric acid is simply the chlorine ion, like this. Now, right here you can see that both of them possess charges. The ammonium ion has a positive charge, and the chlorine ion has a negative charge. Because opposites attract, these two form an ionic bond with each other to create ammonium chloride, which takes on this formula right here. Now it's important to see here that this would not be considered a reaction between an Arrhenius acid and base due to the lack of water. When hydrochloric acid releases its proton, which is shown here, it doesn't actually increase the concentration of that ion in the solution. And in addition, ammonia doesn't even have an hydroxide ion to release so it can't possibly be an Arrhenius base. Nonetheless, almost all scientists would still agree that hydrochloric acid is a real acid and that ammonia is a real base. So hopefully, you now understand the difference between these two definitions of acids and bases. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like down below and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.